Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I got a daytime video for you guys. It is a great morning. Uh, it is like 55 degrees outside. Oh, it's amazing out there. Coming from, I think we had 100 degrees on Monday. It was like 101, 102 or something like that to 55. Oh, my God. It feels amazing. But we're here. Two new updates or upgrades to the team. Um... But first things first, gotta get some coffee. I don't know what kind this is. All I know is that it's black, and I'm here for it. So, uh, team of the week, horrible, absolutely horrible. This this format sucks ass. Um, I know as you see Joey Porter right there, he's a monster on the squad. Um, but this whole format just sucks ass. Yeah, one plus one plus like Derek Henry, Cooper, Lamar, Raekwon, JC, Nick Bose. That's six plus ones. Obviously, the Dolphins didn't win this week, uh, so I'm not expecting a Dolphin, but literally, that's six cards other people could have gotten. Mike Edwards, guess he earned it. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, but that six plus ones in a Team of the Week promo, no, that's, or program, excuse me, that, that's absolutely horrible. Um... But yeah, there's this, this is what you see right in front of you. 94 Joey Porter, and then 90 overall Tannehill. So we're gonna dive in. Um, it was very expensive these past couple of days, so I'm glad we didn't get a Thursday limited. Um, very, very glad we did not get that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, quite expensive days. Um, obviously, Joey Porter was I paid 320 for him or something like that. And he's going for like 290 ish right now, so not really overpaying for him. Um, Tannehill, as you see right here, he's been pretty good for me. I got Pocket Dead Eye and Set Feed Lead on him. Um, he's been really solid the couple games I have played with him, uh, especially in the Ravens playbook. Uh, you know, I had oh, motion options and shit like that. He's been really, really good. Um, Throw power has been amazing. I can hit the deep passes to Waddle and Fuller and Marshall. It's it's amazing. I love it. Um, wasn't expecting to get Tannehill or any Dolphin flashbacks, but I will take it. Um, I'm surprised they dropped two quarterbacks, though. Pretty interesting. Both of them are almost polar opposites, I guess, but they are both can scramble. It is what it is. I'll take it, though. Uh, but that's Tannehill for you. Um... He's got 83 change of direction as well. So that's not horrible. He's actually pretty damn good. 88 throw under pressure. Um, yeah, he's pretty solid. Um, I'm glad we got a quarterback now since Tua is injured. He's out this week. Fractured ribs on his throwing side. That's not... You can't just play on that. You got to set him out for at least a week or two. Um it sucks, but when he comes back, he's going to be better, stronger. Uh, hopefully, the O-line will, will un-F itself. Um, it is an absolute mess in real life. And Madden, all we need is a center <laughs> or a right guard, whichever one. I prefer either one. Uh, theme diamonds coming uh, tomorrow, Friday. Um, I don't think we'll get a, a defensive one or an offensive one, excuse me. Defense, on the other hand, we need corners. We need DBs. If you give me an extra corner, I can move Byron to free safety and then move uh, Minka over to strong safety or vice versa. It doesn't really matter for the 5-2 defense. Uh, Eric Rowe has been balling out for me lately. He's gotten several interceptions these past like week or so. He's been balling out. Um, obviously, Joey Porter, we got edge thread on him. Uh, it works when it wants to. I have no idea what the process is behind it but he's going up against linemen who don't have edge threat protector or edge protector whichever one it is so he should li literally be winning every single time uh, i've had to move him to left end when in my 5-2 because i have him on the outside on the left side on us on the left side and he will dominate the left tackle but then Almost everybody and their grandmother rolls out right to try to hit the deep crosser like a little bunch of pussies. But, hey, it is what it is. And he just, he has the speed to track them down. But then it's like you're rolling back 
15 yards away from where Joey Porter is, and then if they stay in the pocket, it's a sack. But then they'll drop back like 15, 20 yards and still throw a 40-yard crosser down the field, which this game is horrible. No NFL logic whatsoever to it. So that's why I stick with man. I send five or six every play. Show me you know how to stop coverages and football logic and shit. It, this game is just horrible. Uh, 93 power move. That is amazing. 89 speed. I'm sending him at the quarterback every single time. Uh, he's gotten six sacks since I've gotten him in, what, 30 hours? Because <laughs> I got him damn near as soon as he came out uh, Tuesday or Tuesday afternoon. So, yeah, it's not... Not even, not even 48 hours, but I'd probably say like 20 games, six sacks. I'll take that. That's that's not horrible. Kind of is, but in terms of Madden and what people do to cheese, that that's pretty good. Six sacks is pretty good. Um, I have unpredictable on Jalen, unpredictable on Shaq, and then inside stuff on Sue, and then unpredictable on Agba. I guess they work. Um, I had Speedster on pretty much everybody. Uh, I think Shaq and Ogba, I had Swim Move or Swim Club or something like that because they, they have those traits. Um, and then Speedster on Jalen. But I have, have had to flip them, so it is what it is. They just roll out to the right and try to throw the deep crosser or the delay fade to the tight end. That is idiotic to me. Like They need to change that to where you can't release them the tight end it's like you hike the ball he blocks one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi boom he goes not when oh telepathically i'm telling you to release no get that bullshit out the game that is fucking horrible just get that shit out of here uh but we definitely need defensive help not in the front seven i'll take porter because he's a monster uh jason taylor zach thomas we don't need zach thomas um He'll probably take uh, McKinney's spot, depending on how fast he is. If he's faster than Baker, he's going to take Baker's spot. And then we'll have Seo and um, really we might have to go to a 3-4 to um, to use our guys. I mean, it's I, I don't think we've ever had this many linebackers before. Um, D-line is solid. Obviously, we would be, I would be sending Porter and Jalen on the outsides and then Sue might have the, the nose tackle spot like he does in the 5-2. Just is what it is. Howard, he's been balling out. His acrobat works when it wants to, which is very annoying still. Uh, I see plays where he has no abilities, and he just balls out. And it's like, well, I don't, I don't get why mine is broken, but it is what it is. Minka, I'm thinking about putting a deep, deep zone KO on him. Still debating that. Uh, his acrobat works when it wants to then again i'm manning him up a lot of the times um usually manning him up to the tight end uh or the fastest wide receiver on the field i'll double team him but it is what it is defense is fine um nothing changes on that waddle is our kick returner i did have um return man on him i think that what that ability is and it didn't it didn't work it, it did not work at all. Like every time I would try to spin, it would be the world's slowest spin. I tried to juke, I get hit, stick, and fumbled. Like you're supposed to have quicker cuts, quicker ball carrier moves, and, it, and I think you don't lose stamina on kick returns and punt returns with that uh, ability activated. And that shit never worked for me. It, it sucks ass. Um, as you see, Jalen Ogba is our rushing defensive tackle. Uh, Noah is our, our slot corner. He doesn't really see the field all that often. Marshall. Nothing changes there. Uh, we went ahead and spent a lot of coins doing this shit, too. Because this is another huge-ass ripoff by Mutt. And these should never be in the game. I'd rather click on every single player and activate every single or chemistry manually than this bullshit. So obviously I got sure tackler bull rush. I think I did pave the way recently. Next one I gotta get is um, zone run. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the update. 
Um, Tannehill has been a monster. Pocket Dead Eye, highly recommend it. You're not going to miss passes unless EA says so. Um, defense, I tried putting El Toro and extra credit on Joey just to try to get something. Um, I noticed he doesn't get it on his own bull rush, even though he has the bull rush trait on his card. Um, but edge threat works when it wants to. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, defense has been solid. Not giving up many points at all, if any. Um, yeah, I also went ahead to and re, like retired from trying to get on the leaderboards. I hit like 60 something wins and I'm only like four or five losses, true losses without DCs and then my ELO tanking. Like trying to get on the leaderboards when bots are playing 200 games a day is ridiculous. Like it's not it's not 200 but it's like 80 to 100 games a day. They win one, lose one, win one, lose one, win two, lose one. It's like da 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 da. I think when I checked it, it was like one bot was 732 and 731. And I was like, I can't get on the leaderboards like that. That's that's ridiculous. Even though my winning percentage has me on the leaderboards. Pretty high ranked up there. I'm winning like 90-something percent of my games. But that's EA for you. And that's going to be the video. Rant and team update. We need help on defense. Need speed. Lots of speed. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time.